All right, people, so today what we're going to be doing is changing out this uh, rear main seal and the cover seal that goes with it. Uh, things you're going to need to complete this, obviously, is an LS Series Motor Chevrolet. Um, this seal alignment tool that I bought, I, I either bought it on eBay or Amazon, I'm not really sure. They had plastic ones or these aluminum ones. And since I have this truck motor I'm going to be working on and also my Corvette, they're going to use the same style, so eventually I'll probably end up using this thing again. So I went ahead and got the aluminum instead of the plastic. The price difference was like maybe $10 or $20 between the two. Uh, you're also going to need that cover seal right here, and you're going to need the actual rear main seal itself. Um, apparently this little plastic liner here is to help align it, but if you don't get these covers aligned just right, on the back of this motor. Apparently they leak really bad and the last thing I want to do is have a rear main seal leak right after I just replace the rear main seal. So these tools were like not even a hundred dollars. In my opinion a hundred dollars is worth not having to do the job again. But that's just my personal opinion on the subject. So the first thing you're going to do is take a 10 millimeter wrench and start removing these cover bolts holding the cover onto the back of the motor. Alright, the next thing you need to do is pop the old gasket out of here. This is going to be as simple as just um, taking a screwdriver and a little hammer and just kind of popping this out in that direction. So I'll do that and I'll be back. For those of you who may want to see the process I'm going to use to get this seal out of the cover, I'm going to take a flat bladed screwdriver, I'm going to place it just here on the edge of the seal, making sure not to push it that direction where it was, where it may mar up this cover because I don't want to do that, otherwise you won't get a good seal, and then just kind of tap it out. It's probably going to break a little bit, but just kind of make your way around giving it a few taps, and it should just come right out. Like so. There you go. But this surface here, you definitely want to make sure you're not damaging that in any way as you're removing that old seal, as you will not get a good seal with the new seal if you've damaged that area. So now on to putting in the new gasket. All right then, so you've got your old gasket out, you're ready to put your new gasket in, or your rear main seal, whatever you want to call it. I've already placed the new seal into position. You're gently going to place this cover where it needs to go. Oh yeah, that does have some really tight clearances between the crankshaft. Glad I bought this tool. And as you can see, well, I don't know if you can see it. It's probably gonna be kind of difficult to see in the video, but if you look, it doesn't seem to me to be quite centered. And eh, actually it's maybe pretty close. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and loosen up the oil pan bolts, just to kind of let the oil pan hang down and get out of the way of this cover, because you want this cover to be centered properly in all directions, and that is the purpose of this tool. Now, to go, now that I've uh, given this a little bit of uh, leeway to a little wiggle room on the oil pan side, all you do to center this thing at this point with this nifty tool is just kind of place it into position very gently. Just kind of wiggle it in. And once it's in, 
this thing is centered in all directions and you can start reinstalling your bolts for your seal uh, making sure to following making sure that you follow your proper torque sequencing and uh, also the proper torque rating Another thing I'm going to make sure I do once I have all the bolts in position is uh, go ahead and retighten that oil pan a little bit. That way it kind of centers it left to right. Because as you can see, well, maybe you can't see. Let me adjust the, uh, the angle a little bit of the camera. As you can see here, this side is higher than this side. And you don't want to bolt it down like that, obviously. So, again, see I get that actually has a lot of wiggle room there. So again, what I'm going to do is go ahead and just torque up the oil pan a little bit so that brings it up into position, leveling it out left to right before torquing down these bolts, obviously. Okay, also for good measure, I think I'm going to go ahead and throw these two bolts for the oil pan back in here. Because at this moment, I don't have those in there. Um, because I was actually checking the clearances on the uh, bearings yesterday. So I just kind of put the oil pan back in position with a couple of bolts. But I want to reinstall these two. I think that's going to help align this a little better side to side. Alright, so I snugged up the two bolts here, snugged up a couple of bolts along the side of the oil pan and then found that this was actually really in there at that point. Um, like it was kind of stuck in position, it wouldn't slide in and out. But you want it to be able to slide in and out, otherwise that means that it does not have the correct clearances. So what I did was I just loosened these up ever so slightly just enough so that this would be able to move in and out. At this point I'm ready to go in and retorque the bolts. Um, I'm assuming you're going to want to follow a torque sequencing similar to what you would anything else. Kind of start your way from the inside and move your way circular from the outside. Make sure you use the proper torque ratings. And uh, I'll sh go ahead and torque that up. And then I'll show you the step of actually getting the seal into position here. Now that you've got everything torqued properly, go ahead and slide this alignment tool out of place. And next you're going to actually install the rear main seal itself. I'm going to go ahead and pop this little uh, alignment tool that's there out of the way. I'm verifying that there is actually grease installed on the rear main seal because you do not want to install that dry. I'm going to place it into position. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Oh, hold on. It's going to catch right there. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that, but I tried to catch around the edge. Make sure that does not happen because then you end up messing up the seal. So very gently get it in, into position. Just 
make sure I'm installing this the proper way. I was trying to put it in the wrong way. That's the problem. Actually, if you look at the seal, I don't know how well you can see this on the camera, but there's a bit of a lip, and then this ridge side. The side with the lip, you want to go inward, and the side with the ridges, you want to be facing outward. That's the way it came out. All right, sorry about that. So I lost my camera battery, but I'm back. Um, anyways, like I was saying, you want the ridge to go to the outside. As you see in the picture, you can also see that this has those little dimples in it going around the edge. Um, want to make sure that goes in the right direction, otherwise you're going to have a big problem later. Now, what you do is you take this tool that you've purchased, and you're just going to go ahead and tap that into position very gently, making sure to work your way around each edge, making sure it's going in straight. You don't want one side to go in before the other. Make sure you keep checking it. And you'll notice when it's fully installed in the proper positioning that the tone will change of the hammer. It will sound deeper. And there you have it. You have your rear main seal properly installed. You've got a new cover in the back. Um, I'm also doing a lot of other work to this motor. Well, not a lot of other work, uh, but I'm definitely doing, going to be doing the front main seal, the uh, oil pump, and getting this thing ready to go into the truck. So make sure you follow along, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and uh, thank you very much for watching.